Hello. On this episode of DIY with Melon Maker, I'm going to show you how to make faux wrought iron fence props. Stay tuned if you dare. Today I'm going to take you through how to build a faux wrought iron fence. Now in this video I'm going to cover the tools that you need, supplies that you need, the proper lengths to cut things and drill things, and then ultimately the assembly of this faux wrought iron fence like you see here. So stay tuned as I walk you through the process. Let's go over some of the tools needed for the project. First, you're gonna need a marking tool, square, and tape measure. Next, you're gonna need a drill and a 7 8 inch Forrester bit. You're gonna need some measuring templates. Make sure that these are cut to 127 millimeters and 138 millimeters in length. Next, you're gonna need a saw with a guide. And lastly, you're gonna need various clamps to clamp down the projects to the table. Let's go over the supplies needed for this project. First, you're gonna need half inch by 10 foot PVC pipe or PVC conduit. Next, you're gonna need a four foot by eight foot by three quarter inch grade A sanded plywood. You'll have less finish work by using the grade A quality plywood. Next, you'll need four inch PVC pipe. You will want thicker walled PVC. So schedule 40 DWV plain end cellular core is preferred. You will need two part epoxy and number eight, three quarter inch screws. Lastly, you'll need fence finials to complete the look of your wrought iron fence. All right, let's cut things down to size. With the four inch PVC pipe, cut 21.5 millimeters or 0.85 inch sections of pipe. With each 10 foot length of half inch PVC pipe, cut them into three pieces. If your PVC pipe has a flare at one end, cut the flare off first, and then with the remaining pipe, cut the pipe into three even pieces. Each cut piece should be 38 to 40 inches long. Now with a three quarter inch plywood, there's gonna be a handful of steps we're going to need to complete. First, we are gonna cut strips of plywood. Using the long edge of the plywood, cut 35 millimeters or one and three eighths inch strips of wood. Each section of the fence will take three eight foot strips of wood to make. Next, we are gonna mark and drill the plywood using the seven eighths inch Forrester bit. Using the 127 millimeter template from one end of the strip of plywood, mark an initial point using the template as a measuring guide. Then, using the 138 millimeter template, measure and mark an additional 15 points using the last mark as the starting point. There should be a total of 16 total marks between the initial point made with the 127 millimeter template and 15 additional marks with the 138 millimeter template. At the opposite end from where you started marking, use the 127 millimeter template again to mark a 17th point. This marks where you will cut the strip 
to make the strip evenly spaced on each end. Now, for marks 1 through 16, measure and find the center point of the narrow length of the strip. This will give you a point where you will drill with the Forester bit. Stack the three strips of plywood and clamp them down to prepare for drilling. Using the Forester bit, drill your center points through the three layers of plywood. It is recommended to use a portable drill guide to drill straight through all three layers. It's time to put this thing together. Grab the three strips of plywood and lay them out on your work surface. Take three of the half inch pipe pieces and thread them through the three layers of plywood. One pipe on each end and one pipe in the middle. Now take two clamps and clamp down the top strip of plywood on each end. Take the rest of the half inch pipe pieces and thread them through the remaining holes in the plywood. Measure 75 millimeters or three inches from the top of the PVC to the top of the plywood and mark the PVC. Take your three quarter inch screws, place a screw through the plywood into the PVC keeping the previous mark aligned with the edge of the plywood. It is recommended that you pre-drill the holes prior to driving in the screws. Now we are going to set the 4-inch PVC pieces. Place the 4-inch PVC pieces in each slot and pull the next strip of plywood towards the four inch PVC until they contact. Taking your three quarter inch screws again, place a screw through the second piece of plywood into the PVC, keeping the four inch PVC secure between the plywood layers. Measure and mark 68.5 centimeters or 27 inches from the bottom of the second strip of plywood into the bottom of the third strip of plywood. Take your three quarter inch screws, place a screw through the third strip of plywood into the PVC, keeping the previous mark aligned with the edge of the plywood. Place a board under the half inch PVC pipes for the four inch PVC pieces to rest on and align with the half inch pipes. Mix your two part epoxy in a cup with a wood stir stick. Apply the epoxy to each four inch PVC piece, 15 degrees offset from the top and bottom of the PVC. Once applied, then rotate the PVC to roll the epoxy into the plywood strips. The last step is attaching your finials. Mixing up more two-part epoxy, apply a small amount of epoxy in the sleeve of the finial and place on the half-inch PVC pipe. Remember to align the finials to your liking before the epoxy sets. And you have just completed building faux wrought iron fence using plywood and PVC. Check the description for links and details related to this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. This is Malamaker and happy making.